Witherspoon excludables are jurors so opposed to the death penalty that they would never agree to impose it and can therefore be excluded from juries in capital trials. This practice of exclusion is sometimes called death qualification. In Lockhart v. McCree, the court addressed the death qualification of jurors in bifurcated capital trials in which the court seeks a single jury to handle both the question of the defendant's guilt and sentencing. Ardia McCree was arrested for shooting and killing Evelyn Boughton. Two eyewitnesses connected McCree with the murder, and ballistics tests indicated that the bullet that killed Boughton had come from McCree's rifle. McCree was charged with capital felony murder. Following Arkansas law, at voir dire, the judge removed for cause eight prospective jurors who stated that they couldn't vote to impose the death penalty under any circumstances. The jury convicted McCree, but rejected the prosecution's request for the death penalty. McCree filed a federal habeas corpus petition alleging that the removal of the eight jurors on the death qualification issue violated his right to have his guilt or innocence determined by an impartial jury selected from a representative cross-section of the community. He argued that excluding those opposed to the death penalty ensured that the jury wasn't a fair cross-section. The district court considered several studies on the attitudes and beliefs of Witherspoon excludables and the potential effects of excluding them from juries in bifurcated capital trials. The court concluded that death qualification during jury selection produced juries that were more prone to convict than non-death qualified juries. Accordingly, the court held that death qualification violated the Sixth and Fourteenth Amendments. It granted McCree relief. The Eighth Circuit affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.